Are you looking at my cracks? Yep. Oh my god. I, I was this. Uh, <laughs> I was so resistant to both of these things. To the Stanley and the Crocs, and look at me now. What up, squad? Yo, welcome to the vlog. So this vlog is gonna be directed by my girlfriend. Let's go. You wanna say hi to the vlog? You're taking advantage of this camera time right now. Guys, I don't really do this too often. <laughs> Just keep it in the stack. Okay. Look at that side. I know, I see that. She's like, you stop, nigga. Oh. That's where the love is. She licked the lens. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I'm gonna make some coffee real quick because I'm fasted. I'll still be fasted technically, but I, I need a little something to kind of give me a little bit of energy for this workout. I didn't sleep as long, but I still got a good recovery score on my whoop. Okay. Yeah, 82 is my recovery score today, so I'm feeling good. I just, you know, I haven't really worked out fasted in a very long time because you know I don't normally work out in the morning. Who am I? Who? Am I? Who am I now? I'm no longer the same human that I used to be. That's what they say. You you get in a relationship and you change. You it's happening. New energy new, <laughs> shout out to my We Are God's client, Jesse. He called her new energy. So I made a video talking about, you know, it was my one year semen retention journey update. And during that time, I was inspired to take another 100 day journey. I've since pivoted, <laughs> pivoted a bit, and I, I am not. But why, why am I not? It was a collective decision. Well. What? We're gonna get right back to the vlog in a second, but let me put you on about a pattern that I noticed with all of my successful clients. Every single person that I've ever coached that I've had success with were all learners. They were all curious, voracious readers and learners. So what I'm doing is I'm creating a mentorship program. I want to give you, not, not on the level like I'm doing on YouTube. I wanna give you the details of the things you need to know in order to transform your body. I'm giving it away for free. I'm calling all of the learners. If you know you are a learner and you are ready to commit yourself to this process, then sign up for my free mentorship program, the Mindful Muscle Mentorship Program. I'm giving away everything. All right, let's get back to the vlog. Why, why am I not? It was a collective decision. Well. <sighs> what? working on addressing oh yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay no 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 that it is the reason but it, it, yes it i mean was. obviously have to agree, but i'm in mean, i am yeah exactly i am in a relationship so i can't make a decision like that on my own so it was always a collaborative contemplation but the but the real reason is i have given up sugar completely one thousand percent no snacks i mean like no ice cream cake cookies artificial sugar, sweetener in my coffee, none of it, it's all gone. And I felt like it would be too much to try to give up orgasms and sex with my lady and sugar at the same time. So one thing at a time, I think the sugar thing is way more impactful. You know, if I gave up sugar, like that has the best, the, the biggest overall long-term benefits for me if I was able to kick my sugar addiction. So that's the reason why I'm no longer gonna be doing no fat. I mean, uh, semen retention. <laughs> yeah, there's a difference. There's a difference. Yeah. How do they call it fat? <laughs> That's such That's an a ugly word. word. Yeah, I, know, that I word. hate that word. <laughs> so, ew. Fat, fat, fat. You got to do that. Stop. Ew, ew, ew. I can't handle that. Oh my God. That is disgusting. Oh, man, loves that Stanley, guys. Don't let him tell you any different. <laughs> I just love water. There's nothing to fucking do with the Stanley. Listen, don't no, fight the feeling. I don't know, man. This thing, I, between the Crocs and the Stanley, I like, I, I don't, I barely recognize myself anymore. <laughs> <laughs> you are more than your footwear and the medium from which you consume water. Okay. I don't know about that. Man. This is, this is identity stuff. This is like, I don't know. Is it? Um, yeah, that's deep. But Crocs, 
I was very resistant to Crocs. Oh, maybe for you, yes, because this is like also like. It's yeah. not my generation. Yeah. My generation's thing. Mm-hmm. But I get it. See, the thing about the Stanley that I don't really fuck with, I can't throw the Stanley in my bag. In my gym bag. Yeah, you have to carry it. You gotta carry that shit. You are advertising. Yeah, I know, and I was brilliant on their behalf, but for me, not so much. He reads books, guys. Yeah, I do. It's so sexy that you read stuff like that. I buy your books like that all day. It's so weird to me. Well, I liked his verse, though. His, 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 he killed the shit. But then T Grizzly came behind him, paused, with some, like, it, it was just like, what? It was T Grizzly? Yeah, it was very T Grizzly, but I, I, it's not that I don't fuck with T Grizzly. It's just, he really highlighted how terrible of a rapper T Grizzly really is. And if I'm T Grizzly, and I love how excited T Grizzly was in the video. Mm-hmm. Like, yo, I'm standing next to J. Cole, and I love that. Like, even at this stage of his success, I love that you can feel his excitement around it. Yeah. But it just really exposed how not good of a rapper he is. And it almost is it is it he is he really not good or is it just different like different styles? Oh yeah. Styles yeah. Well, of... rap. When I say yeah, it's different styles, obviously. And again, I'm, I respect T Grizzly as an artist. But I think when I think about rap, like wait, wait, like mumble rap is not what I think about. Like, nah, I hate to call it mumble rap, but whatever it is that T Grizzly does in that genre of rap, mm-hmm. that's not what I think about when I think about rapping. Mm-hmm. Like what J Cole does is, is rapping, mm-hmm. and it's rapping, it's all rapping. But you know what I mean. I'm from New York, and I'm from the '90s, where. Niggas rapped for real, and it wasn't this type of rap <laughs> that th- that is happening nowadays. Damn, I sound like an old nigga, bro. Am I that guy? Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> Grab your Stanley quick. <laughs> Ground yourself. <laughs> I need to put my Crocs back on. <laughs> Fuck, bro. I'm weak. You really grabbed it. <laughs> You said grab your standing quick, ground yourself. Whoa. What the fuck was that? It's not like a train was about to hit us. Alright, so I've been working on this on this um, running program where I've only been doing one day a week in the gym. So this is gonna be it's honestly gonna be my third day in the gym this week. So I'm not really following the program. So what I'm the safe thing to do today is gonna to be full body. Probably gonna do upper body, lower body supersets. I don't wanna be in the gym for an hour and 20 minutes. Probably I want it to be like a 50 minute workout. So we'll just do big lower body moves, like leg press and then small upper body moves. Like we'll superset a leg press with a dumbbell. Curl. First we have to play parking roulette. No, 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 this is it. <laughs> You're I, the best spot. This is, listen, VIP parking. Usually when you get good parking spots, and this is my definition of a good parking spot, mm-hmm. that means you you got, you know, it's you got some momentum going energetically. Yeah, it's like a good sign. It's a good omen. Understood. Yeah. Good morning. Since I don't have my Apple Watch, I gotta start the damn whoop. It's still weird. I'm still getting used to not having a watch. This is strange. I got my heart rate up to 140. Alright. Alright, I'm warm. <laughs> I'll show you guys my warm up routine. I do a shitload of bodyweight squats. Like 50. Not at a time. I'm not doing 50 straight right now. <laughs> I'll probably do 20 straight. It's normally about 40 to 60% of whatever my working working weight is going to be. And I do about 15 reps on the warm-up set. And I'm a quality over quantity when it comes to reps. I'd rather high quality, like let's say you're trying to get to 15. I would rather you get to 11 high quality reps than 15 of these like bullshit reps. I 
like to get steps in in between my sets too. It's just the thing I do. Six is wild. Yo, nah, I've seen old, older, old. I'm not fucking old. <laughs> Damn, bro, this is happening. Nah, fuck that. It is. I'm proud of who I am at this age. Not just as, not only is this my least favorite exercise, this is probably my least favorite experience of being alive. <laughs> God damn. Doing fucking split squats, I swear to God. You look like you like it. No, I don't. <laughs> I don't know what looking like I like it looks like. I can imagine that that's what I look like. Damn, why'd your weight go so far? <laughs> Let me see if I can. 130. Thank you. No, it wasn't a guess. I felt it. Oh, yeah. Fuck up the joke. Fuck up the joke. Shock. Yo, this shit really gets you in the glutes, bro. <laughs> oh shit. Ah, you fucking bitch. This is too heavy. Ooh. is intense. I'm so ready for this fucking workout to be over. <laughs> what, what's making it hard? It's Friday. I don't, there's something about Friday workouts that I just don't really gel with. It's been like this forever. <sighs> Man, so efficiency, the name of the game. Eight exercises in, in 55 minutes, including a warm up. Worked my entire body. <sighs> Feeling very accomplished. Those split squats, man, those shits, man, they're, they're, they'll be the death of me, I swear. I got what they call the Southwest wrap with Chicken, eggs. So there's eggs, there's chicken, bed. What else is on this shit? I'm sure you can't really tell. I can't really tell. <laughs> <laughs> nah. This, this joint low key is legit. Oh shit.
Please. How you do a fit check? Do a fit check. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of that's, not a, that's not a good fit. Chill. Yeah, it's a chill fit, but that's okay. That's good. Well, got on pan bread ones. Okay. Got on right text with, so we got a good for the flat tip. Oh, shit. He swagged it up. So, um, taxi ones. Okay. Some H&M uh, camos. Cool. Good Thrasher Mag tee. Okay. You know, got a rep Brooklyn. Okay. Keeping it real simple. Whooped out. Whoop day. <laughs> <laughs> Free game meal of champions. Chick-fil-A sauce versus Polynesian. Let me know in the comment section. I de I'm definitely a Chick-fil-A sauce kind of guy. You you like Chick-fil-A sauce, OJ? I used to, but I'm more of a barbecue sauce guy now. Chick-fil-A sauce, barbecue sauce, Polynesian. What's your go-to? So we're heading to the game right now. Super excited to watch my man ball out. This is the game of the season. This is the this is the game. This is the game where we we see who's who and what's what. So listen, there are days where I don't start my day with a stretch, and those days never go well. I don't know what took me so long to start to regularly incorporate stretching into my day, into my routine. And this is me speaking from a version of you that will appreciate this message. Start stretching every day, right now. Even if it don't help you, you think it don't help you lose weight, start stretching right now. It's just important. Let me just talk to you guys about my relationship with Fridays. Fridays are normally where at the end of the week, I'm like tired from all the disciplining, right? A, a lot of the restriction happens Monday through Thursdays or Fridays are normally the days where I indulge in a bunch of sugar and probably have a few drinks. But since I'm on this no sugar thing, I knew Friday was going to be difficult for me. So we went to the game yesterday, which always is a trigger for snacking. Yesterday, I noticed my body was just asking me for sugar. I mean, I was triggered by every little thing. If a song had the word sugar in it yesterday, I heard that shit Yo, extra loud. So much usher. <laughs> he called every girl. Yeah, no bullshit. It, it was like I was super hyper aware and sensitive to anything that had to do with sugar. Like when Shorty walked up the, the stands with the sugar, the, um, she had a snow cone. Like, <laughs> the sugar cone. <laughs> yeah, the sugar cone. I'm like, God damn, that snow cone looked good as a motherfucker. And I like, it had me off for the entire evening. And I had to really just be aware that my body is like, I even went through like some withdrawal symptoms, right? Yesterday, last night, I felt my body saying, hey, this is normally when we're flooded with sugar. This is my, my nervous system is like, yo, this is when you normally get the fucking dopamine from overeating sugar. And it's like, I, I yeah, and, and it was extremely uncomfortable. And honestly, though, I went to bed feeling victorious. I felt like I won the day. The fact that I was able to overcome that 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 intense urge to to eat sugar, so that was a win for sure. Like my my tummy is active this morning. Why? I don't know. Um, I don't know. The eggs I ate at midnight. You ate eggs at midnight? Mm-hmm. Where was I? Well, when you went home to change or whatever. Oh. I ate some eggs. I ate an egg sandwich. It was good. With that Chipotle meal. It wasn't sugar. <laughs> I've, been, I've been weighing in every morning. All right, go on then. Huh? Good. Oh yeah, the 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 tank top is gonna really. It does. What you mean? <laughs> oh. Okay. Hold on, man. 
batter. Alright. See where I try to I usually try to poop first. Ooh! Not to not to over celebrate scale victories, but so I started at 228. Mm-hmm. And I'm 220.4. Wow. Okay. Even with the egg sandwich at midnight. Well, yeah, because that's not gonna. Yeah, no, exactly. Well, congratulations. Thanks. All right, let's run. <laughs> and by let's. Means me. <laughs> <laughs> this is just my electric light drink. That up? I think so. Is that work? I don't know. It sounds good though. It does. <laughs> Delicious. <sighs> yeah. Honestly, the apple cider vinegar helps because when you do it with just the salt, that shit is like unbearable. Mm. But it works instantly. Like I feel like a different person as soon as I finish drinking that shit. I got about four and a half more miles left on this five and a half mile journey. And I want to focus, so I'm going to end the vlog right here. Shout out to the Brick Squad. I love you guys. Remember, the body that you want is owned by a higher version of yourself. So evolve. Peace.